Alright guys, I figured I'd show you while I got this gun apart. My preferred way I like to clean, this is the Otis kit. This is my answer to buying multiple um, examples of the um, bore snake. Basically you get a couple of cables. All we're going to need is a little short one for the pistols. And if you've got multiple cleaning kits, you've always got these cleaning rods. Basically, you can just take this right here, spray it down with a little ballastol, and just feed this right on through. Just like so. Instead of going in and out, in and out with the... Uh, cleaning brush with the cleaning rod maybe scratching up your barrel or your forcing cone or your uh, muzzle end I just like to take that and just pull it right through the kit comes with all kind this is actually a shotgun kit and it comes with all kind of uh, brushes and if you want a t-handle to give you a little bit more grip and various different cleaning jags and even a bore inspector you put your light on there and it flashlight and it lights up inside the chamber area um, I usually just take this and throw it in my kit I just make some really good stuff um, so we'll take that off like I said you don't have to go buy um, a boar snake in every caliber basically you just use these cables I got brass ends on them and they're a coated metal cable so they don't scratch your barrel up and then you can just, you know, I'm sure everybody's got a cleaning kit. I've got three or four of those universal gun cleaning kits that has all the uh, jags and various different brushes and mops. So, and all your tips just screw on the end of them. So, this gun's pretty, pretty nasty because it's seen a lot of 22 use and not a whole lot of cleaning so we're probably gonna get out a little bit of hops you don't have to do this but since since I do usually get a lot of fouling um, lead fouling love my ballastol lube don't get me wrong but for stubborn cake on stuff you need some solvent and you can't beat this stuff. Hops number nine. I usually buy it. <laughs> Had these on clearance for like two bucks for the um, I don't know five ounce bottle. And I'll just take and dip me a patch in there, like so. Get it all nice and wet. And I always use from the bottle. I don't ever dip, dunk anything like my cleaning brushes or anything in there. And this stuff is stout, so we'll just pull that through. Let it work a little bit. In fact, I can soak up some that I spilled on my bench run another one through just to get some of that stubborn built up lead fouling out that you get from 22's I can even just dip some on my brush right here from where I had it spilled on the table. I don't really care, it's reloading bench. And just take a couple passes with that brush. The good thing about these is you're always going the direction the bullet is. You're not going back and forth and going against the rifling. 
they're always going in one direction. If you can see that, that's pretty clean now. So I'll run a couple of dry patches through it, give it a light coat of oil. And that should be all we need to do to this one. Um, as far as cleaning. Pretty easy peasy. You don't have to struggle with all those little cleaning rods and stuff. But that's my preferred method. Naturally, you use the longer cable for rifle. Makes it a real easy cleanup. for cleaning your guns so make sure you go check them out I'm sure they have the uh, updated kits now um, this kit was bought probably back in the 90's <laughs> in fact there's probably a, maybe there's a copyright on the paper that tells you everything that's in here you can see some of the cleaning instructions um, of course, we know we don't never use instructions. We do it the way we want. This was the 12 gauge shotgun cleaning kit. I like it because it's compact and I can throw it in my bag. So if I ever have any barrel obstructions or anything, I can just pop it in there and clean it right out. And like I said, it comes with all your different guides for your bore. And then it has the brass um, T handle and your connecting rods for your jags and <clears throat> your barrel swab rod um, and everything just pretty much just fits right back in this nice little case you know you can just take your cables and just roll them up I usually take the rifle one and give her a couple of turns roll it up just to make it the size of the case put her back in there and it does have extra places in there where you could put whatever other kind of um, attachments you want different mops and stuff but I figured I would show you that that's my favorite method of cleaning is the Otis kit alright I'm gone